All right, time for another flight, and this time we're trying to take a real-world situation and go with it. Um, we are in Galveston, and we need to get the hell out of here because that hurricane's coming. So we're going to try to head inland as much as we can. We are only in a 150, so that's not going to get us very far very quick. But let's get this thing started up. Engine fired, let's make sure that I am remembering everything that I need to. Don't need the pedo heat, but we'll go ahead and put it on. And then what do we got? We got half a tank on both sides, so that'll be fine. I assume we're going to go less than an hour, right around an hour. Hopefully can make it to College Station. And, uh, going to go, well, we're going to go over Houston. Probably couldn't do that in real life, but luckily this isn't. Let's go ahead and... Round. What's the weather? Kilo Golf Lima Sierra automated weather observation 2300 Zulu. Wind 017 and 22. Visibility 10. Sky condition view clouds at 1100 feet, view clouds at 4200 feet, view clouds at 12400 feet. Temperature 262.10. And you know what? Let me make sure. Taxi ribbon on. I need that. We are going to go depart west, is what we want. Ground Cessna November 5 Kilo ready to taxi west departure. Cessna November 5 Kilo taxi to and hold short of runway tree 6 by a taxiway Bravo cross runway tree 2. Contact tower on 120.575 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway tree 6 via taxiway Bravo cross runway tree 2 Cessna November 5 Kilo. Alright, so we are real close, I believe. This whole area has got some photogrammetry, so it'll be pretty neat. I don't know where it's taking us, if it's going to make us back taxi on a runway. No, it looks like we're crossing it. Ah, uh, yep, we are back taxiing. I feel like there's probably a taxiway around the back side, but we'll see once we get down here. Maybe not. Go ahead and flip it around here. Flaps down, get us up off the ground quickly. All right. We are there. Let's quickly look out, see what it looks like out to I think that way is 
where the storm's coming from. Obviously, it's still a long ass ways away, so I'm not going to see anything impressive. We're just getting out of here, flying, seeing what the area is like, and uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and Tower Cessna November five kilo at runway three six ready for takeoff west departure. Cessna November five kilo cleared for takeoff runway three six departure to the west approved. Cleared for takeoff runway tree six Cessna November five kilo. So the winds are pretty strong. Should be uh, pretty quick to pop up in the air. Amusement park right there by the airport. A couple of pyramids. Cessna November 5 Kilo, continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. This one. Tower Cessna November 5 Kilo, continue for west departure. All right, so got a little bridge over here. I'm gonna have to try to figure out exactly where we are on this map. We took off north, so we're going to head up this road. And that's gonna take us over Houston. Flaps up. It's got a little railroad track down there crossing the river too, it looks like. I assume that's what's going on. And the big bridge. See why they evacuate this every time there's a hurricane coming. Any little bit of uh, storm surge is going to push over that quickly. And then we got a massive oil refinery or something over here. Cessna November 5 Kilo frequency change. Houston approach Cessna November 5 Kilo is type Cessna 152 4 miles northwest of Kilo Golf Lima Sierra. Request flight following. Cessna November 5 Kilo Houston approach. Squawk 3235. Squawk tree two tree five Cessna November five kilo. Cessna November five kilo radar contact five miles northwest of Kilo Golf Lima Sierra one thousand five hundred feet. Altimeter two nine or decimal eight seven. Copy Cessna November five kilo. All right. 
neat little neighborhood down here. They have roads, and then they've got waterways. Allows them to get out into the bay. I'm guessing that's not a uh, fun thing to have right now with the hurricane coming in. And then all of this. I can't imagine. Like, what is the safety requirements to make sure that any damage doesn't end up in the water out there? Let's look at all those storage tanks. Alright. Let's get this thing straightened out. still uh, climbing so let's hop outside real quick so much stuff here it looks amazing though climb out and uh, I think we need to get to 4,000 fairly quick On the map, they look fairly close together, Galveston and Houston, but it's a long ways to go, it seems, at this speed at least. So, little town over here, uh, Lamarque. I believe. If I said that right. And Texas City over there, I believe. detailed in the roads around here is awesome. When you got these massive areas that are photogrammetry, it's just so amazing. So it is almost 7 o'clock local time, we're going to push till about 7.30, see where that gets us, and find somewhere to land along that. We're just going to follow this road because that leads up through Houston. might get to the back side of Houston. also going to run out of daylight. Well, no, nah, we should still have quite a ways to go for daylight. So, 
still climbing up just at 2,000. There we go. Just missing out on a little power there. That's getting us to climb better. Just continue on this northwest path. So we've got Ellington is the airport directly ahead of us that you can see the uh, lights for just right off of this highway that we're following. Got a big ass building. That's kind of looking like we are back into AI generated. Yeah, looks like photogrammetry stops for a bit and it goes back to AI generated. Right along this brown line here. So, I believe we are in League City. if I'm reading the map correctly. And then NASA is over there. says NASA. I don't know if, uh, I assume it's not the launch area with, or how much launching they actually do from the Houston area. So they're saying that there is something over there that's 405 feet tall. So, that looks about right. And just after that bridge, got a little dot saying NASA. Got a bigger city over there. That would be Baytown. Hopefully we get back into the photogrammetry area, which it looks like we do. Got that little brown area up there. What is that? That is a massive building over there. Oops, and I forgot I still have markers on for other airplanes because I was flying with friends. It's a huge building for air, one of the two. It's that. Oh, yeah. 
is 629 feet high. interested to see what that is. Let's go that way. Saying that airplane's at uh, negative 27 feet, I'm wondering if a lot of this is under sea level, which causes it to flood so much. So on the map, it's saying San Jacinto, Jacinto Monument. never heard of, but I know very little about anything Texas. So it's time to look that up to see what it is. Sixty-seven foot tall. It's got a two hundred twenty ton star, and the Battle of San Juanito. So it's uh, a little bit taller than the Washington monument. How have I never heard of this? worth the detour. I haven't, haven't got really far away from the water. Um, this is... Got some more oil tanks. There's Houston. We'll just follow the river back up to Houston. Another little airport off to our right. Let's hop outside. It's unfortunate that this monument appears to be in like this dirty industrial zone.
I really just thought it was a glitch. So the goal, and this is going to be multiple flights, is we need to get inland. Which is not going to help if I get distracted by random things that I see. such a cool monument, but it's just surrounded by shit. Across the river, all around it. Star on top. All photogrammetry. Well, we figured out what that was. Lost about 15 minutes doing so. And now we'll get headed back west. Straight into the sun. level out here now at 4,000. This is going to take us, uh, I believe, over the stadium. I'm not sure what stadium, it just says stadium. Now there's multiple stadiums around here. It's not going to be the Astrodome, that is uh, down south farther, it looks like. A bunch of stadiums on the west side of Houston, it looks like. Or, no, on the south side of Houston of this river. We are barely going to make it past Houston this flight. That 15 minutes didn't help, but it was worth it to go see that. Still, so much industrial oil. It's just amazing how much is down here around these ports. 
Hopefully they can uh, go around and fix all these under the bridge things. It's just photogrammetry, it's what it is. There's town. Got a... Cessna November 5 kilo. 1050 height is what it's showing on the map. Houston approach Cessna November 5 kilo, 3,900 feet. Cessna November 5 kilo, Houston approach, continue as planned. Altimeter 29er, decimal 90. airspace but again if someone knows different will let me know all right so there's the airport we were originally headed past but we haven't even got there this at least brings us this at least brings us right over top of town through Bravo airspace Cessna November 5 kilo to look and see what we've got for an airport anywhere. And it's uh, pretty sparse. I think West Houston. I think that's what we're going to have to go to. city once we get over top of it. Really hard to see anything with the sun. And then there's a uh, second little uh, commercial area and third kind of way down out there. there were, well, there's a 9,000 or 974 foot tall building out there, so Still pretty damn big buildings. Let's hop out and see what we can see now. Go to external so I can still kind of pull it to the right here. So we're at least getting rid of some of the industrial area. Quite a bit of town north is in photogrammetry. We've got a stadium. I think that's a stadium there. Zoom 
system still works. It wasn't working on here. Oh yeah. I think that's the new Astros. That must be the Dynamos field. Basketball stadium over there, I assume. Downtown's kind of all lopsided. Freaking crazy, though, that this is the level of detail that we're at. See, way out there is Reliant, or whatever it's called now. NG, I don't can't remember. Hop back inside real quick. Get a little off course. Looks like they got a nice little park along a uh, waterway. A little drainage. Lincoln has one that's kind of like that. Spotting the airport I want to go to. It's going to be a bit of a pain. We should start to get out of the city. I just can't believe how massive the uh, two little extra downtown areas are. It's a massive building for not even being downtown. I mean, maybe it is downtown to some little suburb that's been overtaken, but still. All right, let's uh, let's start our descent. and the winds haven't changed too much.
traffic Cessna November 5 Kilo 1 1 miles east 3,400 feet inbound to land runway tree tree. So just ahead of us we've got some 500 foot buildings. And I think we are way closer than I thought. So we're going to kind of swing out here get lined up with the runway as we continue to do a pretty steep descent. If I'm wrong on position, then... It's gonna take a little longer than I wanted to, but I think all these trees up here, and then those tall buildings, although there's tall buildings down there too, We needed to get off this way anyways. It'll at least allow us to uh, drop down to about 2,000. Maybe it's those buildings up there. Yep, there's the airport. All right. Level out here at 2,000. going to put us down about 730, 735. That keeps a decent time of a flight, but we have not made it that far, or at least away from the water. But I'll continue this with the second flight to uh, try to get a little deeper into Texas. airport. Let's make a decent approach for once. low to start off. Well, definitely a bit low now that I'm dropping. Can't, don't need to be below 17. Put some throttle back in it. Traffic Cessna November 5 Kilo is on final runway tree tree to land. So I will try to get a second flight taken off from here and maybe make it to College Station. I don't know. Let's see how far away that is compared to what we just did. Yeah, we could probably make it to College Station on the next flight.
So we got a bit of a little hill ahead of this runway, it looks like, maybe. Shot that looking at the map. Get it back. All right. Really neat looking sun on the trees. Gonna slow down more with one click of flaps. Won't need any more. We've got a ton of runway for this. If I can get it down. there, that's not good. Looks like they brought the fire truck out because they knew I was landing. Oh, the fire truck's going to try to join the runway with me. That was a terrible landing. push to the right there, right at the end. We're not going to make that. I'm going to say back to the right was uh, general aviation. God, that was one of the worst landings I've had. Yeah, maybe... We'll go over to A, although these aren't probably labeled right. I would assume A be the main side. Maybe not. Looks like just all hangers. Kilo India Whiskey Sierra traffic Cessna November 5 Kilo is clear of the runway. God, that landing was brutal. These are just all looking like hangars. Can't tell if that is part of the airport or not. There we go. Got some guys out here waiting for me. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and parking brake on. Cut. Fuel off. off and we are shut down so we've made it to West Houston and uh, not as far as I thought we'd make it but 150 you can't really get too far plus we wasted 15 minutes going to look at that monument yeah that might be an FBO over there 
or it might just be no, because then there's a road across there. So this is definitely the FBO. But here we are, West Houston. And back there is all of Houston. So hope you enjoyed that. And I will uh, try to make it to College Station in the next one. Thanks for watching.